How are you getting on? Oh, pretty well. Just a few finishing touches, but most of it's done. <laughs> Fiddly work, eh? Yeah? By and large, you need a sensitive touch to prepare a machine like this. <laughs> and not a job for weaklings either. Professionally speaking, I see myself as a locksmith, unlocking the secrets of an exhibit. <laughs> the guillotine. Now there is a final lock. The lock. For eternity. <laughs> you speak like a work of literature, a true poet. There is not a single work of literature in the whole collection as clever as that thing. Exactly. Look at the neck brace. Say what you like about the guillotine. It's still a fine instrument. Beautifully worked out. Looking at it like this, in the cold light of day, it does something to me. You know, this machine is a part of history. It's dealt with some famous people, some real characters. <coughs> yes, the guillotine has a way of making the murderers more respectable. It makes them grow in stature. <laughs> By making them shorter. <laughs> this one. <laughs> This one consigned Lancini to posterity, and Carrara, and many others. Before the Bain mob, there is nothing like a good old public execution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but imagine an execution in a dungeon like this? Would it be more picturesque, more theatrical? <laughs> Absolutely not. And the poor guillotine would be too hemmed in between these four walls. At least in the public arena, it has a certain style. It is the dispenser of justice. In here, it is nothing more than a machine. A nasty machine for cutting off heads. <laughs> Do you think that the condemned prefer the old system? Oh, undoubtedly. Just. Think of it, to be executed behind closed doors, like getting a divorce, what they call in the theater, a technical rehearsal. Just for the stage crew. That's terrible. I wouldn't wish such a death on my worst enemy. What about you? <laughs> Me neither. Wait a minute, though. There's somebody I know whom I would take great pleasure in. Who's that? Your mother-in-law? <laughs> You're not even close. Your wife, then? Not my wife, either. But someone rather close to her. How close? Too close. I love her. She's cheating on you? Probably. Well, then take your revenge. <laughs> it's all I ever think about. But how? Well, if you have proof, divorce her. I haven't got any hard evidence. Anyway, I love my wife. She's a very beautiful woman. Well, then kill the fellow. Ha! Thanks. But there's the trial and prison. You'd be a bit. Possibly. But that's all conjecture. I'd rather just wait for the right opportunity. But One will come along sooner or later. Looking, as you know, who your wife's lover is, you could always Pick up a fight and give them a good trashing. Who, my wife? No, her lover. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's just not practical. Why not? Why not? Well, for a start, he's stronger than me. He used to be a world featherweight boxing champion, now retired with a private fortune. I daren't lay a finger on him. He'd send me flying with a flick of his wrist. And then, where would I be? Well, however, I was just saying it past the time. Well, thanks for listening. Is the exhibit ready? Yes. It's working beautifully. Watch. If you press the lever on the right, the neck brace lifts up. If you press the lever on the left, justice is done. <laughs> Left for the neck brace, right for the blade. Perfect. You know as much as the 
finest execution. Now I must be off. I've still got things to do. Well, go on. I'll stay here and wait for the signal. Good, bye then. Right, for the neck brace, <coughs> left for the blade. A simple little action, and there we are. One less person. <laughs> and to think, it's now ours. It's just right. <laughs> but this sounds like a moment of truth. Is everything ready? Has the electricity been fixed? Switch it on then. Good. You can let them in now. Are you ready? The whole world's <coughs> coming to see you. Und nun sehen wir den berühmten französischen Guillotine. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have the very guillotine used for M. Lively Senior for 20 years. The Damir Museum, of which I have the honor of being the curator, has been able to acquire at great cost. This machine, which has recently been restored, cut short the lives of many famous murderers, amongst them I could name Francini, Anastay, Carrara, and many others. <coughs> Viele berüchtigte Mörder, um, deren Namen Ihnen mit Sicherheit ein Begriff ist, uh, Carrara, Anastai, Franzini, wurden von diesem Guillotine um einen Kopf kurzer gemacht. <lacht> Now I will explain to you how this machine works. The neck brace is lifted up to cut here in the blade, the other way around. Just press the lever on the left to release the blade. The whole action takes between five and seven seconds, just long enough for the condemned man to repay his debt to society. Have they understood? Uh, not a single word. One moment. Um, so erst wird der Mörder auf dieses Brett gelegt. Sein Kopf kommt durch dieses Loch. Wenn Sie nun den Hebel auf diesem Seite betätigen, fällt das Beil von oben herab und der Kopf in einen mit Sand gefüllten Korb. Dann kommt der Henker, nimmt des Mordes Kopf und sagt, seht her, seht her, das ist des Mordes Kopf <lacht> und lässt ihn wieder fallen. <lacht> Das ist alles zur Guilty. Lassen Sie uns weitergehen. Now I will show you how in the colonies the natives were persuaded to pay their taxes. <laughs> Which is to say that in Parliament stake, the tooth extractor and the gunpowder cartridge. <laughs> Let's start with the gunpowder cartridge. <laughs> Oh, um, excuse me, old boy. This gentleman is wondering whether all this is going to be suitable for a young lady. Oh, well, that depends on one's views on such matters. If I had a sister, I would ask her to stay here. <coughs> You're thinking of the gunpowder cartridge and where it was inserted? <laughs> Es ist nicht sehr angebracht für junge Damen. Uh, geben Sie ihr eine Zeitung und sagen Sie ihr, sie soll auf uns warten. Komm, Kathi, setz dich hin mal. Sieh, <lacht> 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 old fool. Wenn du vor mich. Nein! <lacht> 